Hey, what is going on everybody? So I installed iOS 11.4, the official version on my iPhone 5S, and we're gonna take a super quick look at it as usual. Now this update brought two key features that were supposed to be added way back in the day when iOS 11 was supposed to come out. Even in the betas it was supposed to be in it, but they never added it in until like right now. And those two key features are iMessaging and the iCloud and AirPlay 2. Now I don't use AirPlay at all, but they did update it. So if you guys know, this really is only practical if you own a HomePod or anything like that that you know supports airplay so there's a couple of updated features of it but one of the more prominent ones are that you can now individually select each airplay device and you can control the volume of the airplay devices as well and you can select multiple airplay devices so that's super cool i don't really use it but it's at least cool that they're you know adding that in there and the second one is actually iMessaging in the iCloud like i said and this one is actually super super cool now you do have to go into the iCloud settings app and you have to scroll down to messages and turn it on then you're pretty much good to go so now what this means is that that all the messages that you have on your iPhone will be synced up with your MacBook and your iPad. So if you delete a message here, it'll be deleted on all those devices. If you get a message, it'll be added and all that stuff too. And that's super cool. And now your messages are backed up. So if you change phones or anything like that, at least you'll be able to have those messages there. You know, if you break your phone, or you throw it, at least you have it. That's super cool that Apple finally added that in. And one thing I want to note is on my daily driver, you know, I don't carry the 5S around with me all the time, but on my daily driver, I had the betas, I had the 11.4 betas running on it and battery life didn't seem to be that good on it, I'll be honest, but they were the betas and I'm not expecting, you know, 100% great battery life or, you know, performance. So I will report back in a couple of days, whether the battery life has increased, decreased and all that other stuff. So stay tuned for that. But I did run a benchmark and this is the small tech core score I'm getting now 67,961 I don't have the other multi-core score I don't know what I did with them for the iPhone 5s but this is not a bad score for the 5s now it's a pretty bad score overall you know compared to a 6s or a 7 plus or whatever but for the 5s it's really not that bad I'm getting probably the same score that I used to get on my iPhone 6 before I factory reset it but you know at least it's up there at least it's not in the low 60s I mean, it's on the upper end so you know, at least we have that there so iOS 12 is about to come out next week the betas so if you want I would probably recommend updating to 11.4 i mean you're probably i don't know if there's going to be like an 11.4.1 or anything like that since you know ios 12 is about to come out so yeah i would probably recommend updating this is probably the most stable version of ios 11 right now now if you do care about jailbreaking or anything i believe there was an exploit for 11.3.1 that just came out I mean, it hasn't been like you know announced or anything no jailbreak has been out for 11.3.1 but there is some rumors going around that an exploit was found or so i don't remember so if you care about jailbreaking stay where you're at don't update to 11.4 but if you don't care about jailbreaking i would recommend you guys to update and that is pretty much it if you guys have any questions or anything leave it down in the comment section below hit that like button that'll mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button that'll mean so much more i'm actually doing a giveaway very very soon i'm giving away multiple iPhones at least two or maybe more I have to see and I'm gonna have a way better way of setting it up so it's a lot easier to pick the winners and all that stuff and I actually just started up a patreon if you guys want to help and donate on it that'll mean so much I don't think I have any donators or backers yet so if you want to be the first one check it out that'll help you know buy more devices review them doing more giveaways all that stuff so yeah check that out link will be in the description also check out all the other links in the description as well my second channel my soundcloud my websites all that stuff is down there i'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out but more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys and i hope i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then